So far, we've taken a look at alternating series and determining if they converge or diverge. However, we haven't looked at the idea of absolute nor conditional convergence. And so if we do have a convergent alternating series, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the, the convergence of the absolute value of the sequence, but we're taking a look at the series of that absolute value. And if that converges, then that means that the series converges absolutely. However, conditional convergence means that the alternating series converges, but when we get rid of the alternating term, it diverges. And so essentially, if we're asking to determine convergence or divergence conditionally or absolutely, we have to do two tests. We have to do one with the alternating and one without the alternating term. All right, so um, let's take a look at this first animal here. And we have the series n equals one to infinity minus one to the n plus one, n to the fourth over n to the fifth plus three. Now, let's just take a look at the alternating series test. All right, so we're just going to do the same stuff we've done before. And in this case, a sub k is going to be k to the fourth over k to the fifth plus three. And let's just throw in like k equals one, k equals two, k equals three. Um, and let's see if it does get smaller for those values, okay? Now, when k equals one, that's pretty easy, all right? So that's going to be one over four. Now, when k equals two, um, I'm going to use my calculator because I don't want to mess this up. So over here, that's going to be two to the fourth. And we're going to divide that by two to the fifth plus three. Yep. All right. And that gives us 0.457. All right. So a little bit bigger. All right. So because we know that this is 0.25 and this is going to be 0.457. All right. So let's hope it gets smaller for some other terms. All right. So, um, so let's copy this and let's throw in a three there. All right. So we get three to the fourth over three to the fifth plus three. So that one's smaller. All right. So that's good. And four. All right, so that's smaller. All right, and let's just do five. And if we get enough of them, that should be okay. All right, so it looks like that after this one, they are getting successively smaller. So it looks like that so far we're good. All right, so k equals three. That one was 0.329. And for k equals four, that one was 0.249. And for k equals five, we got 0.1998 or 0 0.200. All right, so other than that first one, we look to be in pretty good shape, okay? So we can say aside from n or k equals two, excuse me, okay? Um, the terms are non-increasing. Okay, so that's good. Okay, that's part I. Now we're going to take the limit, and that's the easy part for this one. So we're going to take the limit as k approaches infinity of k to the fourth divided by k to the fifth plus three. All right, now um, we're going to divide everything by k to the fifth, right? And if we do that, that's going to be k to the fourth over k to the fifth divided by k to the fifth over k to the fifth plus three over k to the fifth. And that's our limit as k approaches infinity. Now, if we simplify that, we have the limit as k approaches infinity of one over k divided by one plus three over k to the fifth. Um, and that's gonna be equal to zero because that goes to zero, and this goes to zero, or one plus zero, which is zero. Okay, so the good news is, is that this series converges, all right? So if it converges, that's, and I ask you to be able to determine if it converges conditionally or absolutely, that's where we have to go to the next step, okay? So um, converges, 
so, now we're going to test the series of the absolute value of a sub k. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I tried to reload it. Um, reload. Let's see. Okay, there we go. All right, so now that we know it converges, let's determine what happens with the absolute value. Okay, so um, we take the absolute value of this thing. That's going to be the series n equals one to infinity of n to the fourth over n to the fifth plus three. Um, there's a couple ways that we could be able to evaluate this, um, this series for convergence or divergence. In fact, two ways, one of which we could use the integral test. A second way is we could use the comparison test. All right, now um, I'm gonna go ahead and just use the integral test because I know we haven't done it for a while. So that's gonna be the limit as C approaches infinity from one to C of X to the fourth divided by X to the fifth plus three DX. All right, so remember with the integral test, we just wanna see if this integral converges or diverges. All right, um, at this point we would do a U substitution. So U is gonna be X to the fifth plus three. DU is gonna be five X to the fourth DX. And then we don't like that five. So DU fifths is X to the fourth DX, all right which is good because otherwise we couldn't integrate. So now we get limit as C approaches infinity, integral from A to B now, all right? So we get rid of all that um, because we don't wanna use the, the same limits of integration because we're now in terms of U instead of X. So this is the limit as C approaches infinity. And we're gonna have DU fifths divided by u, okay? Or that's the same thing as the limit as c approaches infinity, integral from a to b, and we pull out the one fifth, and we have one over u du. We know that the antiderivative of one of u is ln, so now we get one, or we get the limit as c approaches infinity of one fifth ln of u. We're gonna substitute back in where we have x to the fifth plus three. So now we have the limit as c approaches infinity of one fifth ln x to the fifth plus three from one to c. And now we're gonna substitute back in, all right? So let me refresh this so I have a little bit more room to finish out. And let me do it again. Apparently it only likes it if I do it twice. So now I'm gonna have the limit as C approaches infinity. Now remember, I'm substituting C back in. So we have one fifth ln of C to the fifth plus three minus one fifth ln of one to the fifth plus three. All right, um, I'm gonna substitute infinity back in and that just gives me infinity to the fifth plus three, which is infinity. So this is really gonna be one fifth of infinity minus one fifth of four, all right? Which is really just going to go to infinity, which means the integral diverges, all right? And remember, the integral test says that if the integral diverges, that means that the series diverges, all right? So let's go back up here. And we just showed that this diverges, but, we showed that the original series converges, okay? So to conclude this out, we're gonna say since the series n equals one to infinity of the original, which was minus one to the n plus one, and the fourth over n to the fifth plus three converges, and the series n equals one to infinity of n to the fourth over n to the fifth plus three diverges. That means that we have conditional convergence, okay? We have conditional convergence
of our original series, which was n equals one to infinity of minus one to the n plus one, n to the fourth over n to the fifth plus three. All right, so that's how we can show conditional or absolute convergence, okay? So we actually have two problems in one, all right, which makes it a little bit tougher. So we have to do the original alternating series test, and then we have to get rid of the alternating series, all right, or the alternating factor, and just do a test on the original, on that series without the alternating factor, okay? So we'll take a look at one more example in the next video, and then we'll be done with this section.